In today's video, I am going to share with you five hacks that will instantly make your videos more cinematic. Let's get into it. Number one is using widescreen bars. Widescreen bars, otherwise known as letterboxes, are used to draw your viewer to the subject. And it also makes an easy way for your videos to be more cinematic. Just look at these two clips. It's very easy to tell which one is more cinematic. Number two is using a shallow depth of field. That basically means that you're blurring the background and making it more easier for your audience to tell the difference between the subject in the background. You can do this too by opening your aperture to 2.8 or lower. Now here is an example of two clips, one with a shallow depth of field and the other is very flat and no depth. So before you go out and shoot, make sure your aperture is set right. Number three is using natural lighting. Now when I say natural lighting, I mean by having your subject stand or sit near a window that will create a natural softbox on that person's face. Now, if you are shooting outside, use the sun to your advantage, but just make sure to shoot either at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day. This is known as golden hour. Now, around golden hour, the sun will be lower in the sky and won't give you those harsh shadows. Number four is shooting in 60 frames per second. Shooting in 60 frames per second or higher will just give you a smooth, slow motion that overall gives you just a more cinematic feel. Number five is shooting in a flat profile. Shooting in a flat profile will give you tons of color grading opportunities when you get into post. Here are a few examples of turning a flat profile image into a color graded one. You can shoot in a flat profile by cranking down your saturation, contrast, and sharpness in your camera settings. And although shooting in a flat profile doesn't look good, I think it's worth it. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.